All right, so I wanted to make a video on how to connect Prism 2 to a uh, an Aeon using a Comlink, whether it's Comlink 5, USB Link 2, uh, whichever you have, the process will be the same. Um, okay, so first things first, when you open the uh, software, Prism 2, you're going to notice you have view status only, which uh, if I were to select one of these nodes and I was hooked up, and I didn't log in, I would only have view status. So that means I could not uh, adjust any parameters, but I could still see the readout, um, and I'd still have the uh, animated display there. Um, but we're going to do the big boy stuff. We're going to log in. Username and passcode are both admin, lowercase, on every Aeon that I've come across, unless someone changes it, like Aeon. Um, so now you have administrator access uh, highlighted in red. That's what we want. After we see that, we know that we're good for the next step, which is going to job site. Okay, so this one's important. Right now, we have this populated here. These are all the, um, you know, just mock uh, demonstrations that I, I made these, um, or examples. So what we want to do once we open job sites, we want to click, if this is a new job site, new node, a blank node. Um, you click wherever, it doesn't matter, but obviously you want to be organized, so I'm clicking seven. Um, after you select a blank node, what you want to do is you want to select uh, which comlink you have. It'll be written on it, so more often than not, it's comlink five, USB link two. Um, so these are the same. I have three options. Click the one you have. Multiple loop configuration, single loop, USB link network. Um, so if you have a system that is uh, a standalone Aeon and it's not uh, chained with a bunch of others, single loop uh, USB link, that's what you would want. Um, you can keep it on multiple loop no matter what. So this this is just for the discovery process. So this part doesn't really matter that much. Um, but for the sake of this video, we'll do it right. Click single loop USB link uh, for a standalone uh, unit, which I'll be working on in the field in the second half of the video to show um, what I can't show you in this video. Uh, after you do that, you have these both selected. You double check this right portion down here. You don't do anything with that. Um, you can change your node name for the unit. You can say like Aeon 1 if you have multiple standalones, you know, whichever, or if it's chained. So Aeon 1, that's the node there. Um, and then, uh, well, actually, before we do that, I'm sorry. What you're going to want to do is you want to auto detect uh, ports. Um, so down here you'll see that we have all these options. Um, Comlink, you know, all the way to Comlink 9 or Com9, not Comlink, but Com port 9. Um, if you auto detect and you have your Comlink set up or hooked up to the computer, all this stuff's going to go away after hitting auto detect. All that will go away. It'll say no port selected and then one other option underneath. So you're going to click the one, or click the one that has, uh, you know, an option, which will be a long name, you know, com something, T-B-A-R-T or something like that. Uh, you're going to click that. Click, uh, click alarm polling enabled. Uh, this will allow you to save any alarms with a timestamp um, just for, to aid in the diagnostic process at a later point if you just want to recall what issues you were having at a previous job. Um, so, yep, after you do that, you have all that selected. Then you can come down here, change your node name. We'll say Aeon 1. Um, and then site location or uh, selected location. This is going to be your site. We're going to populate this name under here. Um, for the sake of the video, we'll call it Goodwill um, Bradenton. Okay. Just didn't mean to click that. So, We've typed that in, and while we're still in that box, go ahead and click Enter, and that's going to populate down here to Node 7. But as you see down here, or over here, Site Selection, we don't have that yet. Don't worry about that. That will populate after we click X, Escape. There's Goodwill Bradenton. That's our newest node. Um, after that, what we want to do is make sure we're in the online, which this should have brought it online. Uh, if you're not in the online uh, status here, click that offline. It'll it'll bring you online. Okay. Then we go to communications. 
search for units. This part's important essentially because uh, this will help you speed up. If you if you only have one Aeon, you don't need to search all of these. Okay, you don't need to search all those. You just search that one line um, with one Aeon. You select search only the selected loop, which we've selected a single loop. So that'll only search this line. As soon as we hit start search with our com link uh, connected, you'll get the green square immediately, and then immediately the rest of this line will turn red. Okay, but if it doesn't, I'll show you. Sometimes, uh, if the communication's slow, you'll have to change the um, communication setting on the comm link. There's a little like tip switch almost that you can, you know, little switch you can push in or you know, uh, one direction. You can change the communication speed, um, but sometimes it'll go slow like this. But you'll see, you know, a green square. What it's doing is just trying to discover uh, basically where the unit's addressed, and it'll it'll always be this first one. Uh, but then sometimes it takes forever to finish the search to get to this one line um, because the communication slow. So you can cancel search after it's found the unit, after it has found the green unit. Um, cancel search and then hit exit or escape and uh, save it. And then your unit's going to pop up down here under unit selection. Okay, and then at that point you can click the unit um, view the readout, all that good stuff, change parameters because we have administration or administrator access. Um, so that's pretty much it for this portion. The rest of the video should answer any remaining questions uh, as far as how to hook the stuff up. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your Comlink 5 or USB Link 2, which Comlink 5 is a USB Link 2. How are you going to hook that up to Prism and your board? So right here, a little trick, or in the manual, it'll tell you to pull out this three-prong pin. Okay, and do that before you plug it in. And then, once you're in on the board, you got to log in. Password is always admin. Username and password are both admin. Okay, so now you're in. Plug in your comm link, USB end into your computer. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go to job site. Say this is your first time somewhere. Job site. And then we'll go to an empty node. I already have one that says Cat Depot. For the sake of this, we're just going to do a new one. We'll say cat depot two. Okay, you put that up here. Go to auto detect installed ports, and then the drop down will have this com link three right here. Or your uh, your your com your UA RT bridge. You want to have that selected. You want to make sure if you have the com link that I do, com link five or USB two, which is what we have. I like to allow alarm polling enabled. So once you're in this box here, up top, and Cat Depot, or whatever name you have there, is uh, once you're in that box, hit enter to make sure that we transfer that name to our port here. So that's port number eight. It's 
now Cat Depot. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. We go down to Cat Depot 2. And then we go to Communications up top here. Search for units. Just keep these two checked. Start search. Okay, so we found a unit. The green one, that green square, is a unit. Then you can go ahead and click exit. Or close. And then save. So we found the one unit that we know is on here. So down here, unit selection. If you click on that, the BCM air handler. That'll bring up your readout. 